Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a long time since I gave you an update on my RO. I did a lot of changes to it. Um, as you can see, I've taken the Aqua Buddy uh, four stage and turned it into a seven stage. What do I mean by seven stage? Well, I had a little extra money, um, found some gift cards that were left, left unused and purchased myself a second 50 gallon per hour um, Aqua Buddy. I hooked up two membranes, right? Two membranes feeding each other. So one membrane, well, well let's start with uh, the two membranes and then there's also two carbon uh, cartridges and two DI cartridges, one settlement cartridge so water comes in to the settlement cartridge goes in to the first uh, carbon block cartridge then feeds into the second one the second one then feeds into the first membrane and then it goes into the <clears throat> the the wastewater line goes into the second membrane and then they both combine into a combiner right there and feeds in to one the first di okay and then that di then feeds into the second di i also put in a um, <clears throat> inline tds detector from hm digital um, i'll put it in the description below and i also purchased the uh, the uh, the manual flush valve um, from aqua life um, it was a little, it, was, it took a little bit because when it first came and I hooked it all up and once I started it up, it started leaking like crazy, right, in these joints. So I had to replace with my own, uh, my own RO line. So everything's working well. Um, TDS is still the same, you know, I'm getting 23, 22, 23 TDS out of the, out of prior to the, um, the, the resin cartridge, right? Which I guess is okay. Um, I'm, I have about like 170, 180 TDS going from, coming from the tap. So, you know, kind of wondering why I have, I still have 23, 22 TDS coming out of that membranes. But once it goes through the, the, the resin, it's zero. The reason why I have two resins is because, so I've been watching a lot. I used to be a reef keeper, right? And one thing reef keepers do is they they care about their water quality a lot. And because they care about their water quality, they do and they spend tons of money to get the best water quality. So one of the things um, I was watching this video, I think they're, I think I'll, I'll link I'll link their video, their YouTube channel there down down below, but I think it's like BS TV. Um, but they're a reef they're reef they're reef keepers or their knowledge is in reef, but they use RO waters and they use these systems. And they mention you know these are modular and you can use it and build yourself a custom one any way you want. And by putting two DIs, you basically when this one exhausts, you still have this one catching it, and then you have time to move this one over and get a new one to replace it. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, because I was getting about 24 TDS going in to my to my RO bucket, which just wasn't lasting. Um, I don't know. I think in an earlier video, I said if you want to create a lot of RO water, um, this may not be the system for you. In fact, let's talk about this system. So I create about 50 gallons a week, right? And I've noticed after two uses, the DI resin is exhausted. So whatever TDS is go, coming out of the membrane, I'm, it's go, going right into my RO bucket. So I noticed my RO water was starting to go, TDS was going up to exactly what was coming out of the membrane with 
with the help of these inline TDS meters. Um, that took a lot of work to put in, by the way. Putting the whole thing together had to took a, took a while, but you know, it's, it's worth it, I guess. Right. Um, the reason why I put two carbon blocks, just just in case I forget, but the reason why you put two carbon blocks is to remove any chlorine, right, or chloramine that you know that might escape from the first one. Okay. Um, let's see. Putting two membranes, right, basically helps take the the reject water from the first one and clean it even more. So you have less um, less rejection water, right, instead of the th three to one or one to three ratio that you get now. Um, like three parts rejection to one part RO. Um, on that, uh, all right, I was talking about what I think about the, the DI was exhausting after maybe two uses of the of the uh, making 50 gallons of 55, 50 gallons of water. Um, it just wasn't, you know, wasn't what I wanted to do was to constantly be switching resins, but we'll see how it goes. At this moment, you can already see I just started making this around about maybe four four hours ago and already it's starting to turn amber near the bottom that's because that's where the first one goes in right so i don't know my my initial thoughts on this unit is if you need to make a lot every day or, or a lot every week you might want to go with a higher production um unit but otherwise for me <clears throat> i'll stick with this for a little bit and see how it goes from there um i mean overall i had to purchase some ro lining and some you know cartridge holders you know you know like those to hold two um two inch cartridges instead of the two and a half versus the two uh, doubles. So, you know, I spent some money to do that and see how it goes. And rejection water, I think, has slowed, meaning there's less of it, but there's still rejection water. And we'll see how it goes. Right now, the TDS coming out of this is zero. Right, coming, our water coming out with zero TDS. That's because those are two brand new resin right <clears throat> from the membrane it's about 22 um so let's see how it goes from there settlement cartridge doesn't need to be changed yet so i just wanted to give you guys a quick update um and if you like what you see please think about subscribing hitting the notification bell and um I'll see you soon. Oh, don't forget to thumbs up this uh, video. Bye.